hello guys today we are going to discuss about how to make an attachment as mandatory in a particular CR type so it can be at particular step or else at a particular CR type in all steps so let's start it and I have, I have opened customer governance screen in search customer so I am opening and click on new button and organization so I have created this custom CR types create customer test in this I am click done ok and let's see yeah I am maintaining description and I am just clicking on check button so we can see it is showing no errors found even the grouping is not provided also it is no errors found I haven't executed any validations and derivations until now so that's why nothing nothing is there so I want to make some changes now so when we are clicking on check button or submit button it should not allow user unless he adds an attachment here in the CR so let's let's do it I am going to IMG and we have to go to this path master data governance and we have to go to MDJ IMG and master data governance general settings data quality and such and then business add-ins so inside business add-ins we can see validations and derivations defining we have to click on this baddie and we can see some standard baddies are there but none of the custom baddies are executing now I am clicking on create implementation and I am clicking on new one so I want to create a new enhancement implementation first ZEI underscore uh, so our requirement is to make attachment mandatory I am gi just giving that name here attachment or in general we will use this type of name BP MDG BP underscore validations this we can use here in short text validations Uh, validations in short text I am just giving uh, business partner validations I am just giving this and clicking on new one so now a new enhancement implementation will be created so this cannot be empty right we have to fill a body into it so at least one body should ex exist in that I am just clicking on ZBA bad implementation underscore MDG BP underscore validations now here I am creating a new class here with similar name MDG BP underscore validations now after clicking on OK here continue button or enter button automatically these two will get created now so let's continue I'm just clicking on local objects now. Yeah, now this has been created. This is the enhancement implementation, and in this, a bad implementation has been ex created. Now we have to mainly create a filter value and check it. So, this filter I am maintaining on both model and entity type because business partner is model and entity type I want to give it with BP header because it is the main one so BP equal to model and then another filter entity type I will give BP header BP underscore header this is the main entity type 1 entity that's why I am giving it that's it continue and I am saving it now we can see we have created a filter value now if we click on check we will get some errors this is because already there is a an, an enhancement related to that so first of all we have to uh, identify which is that enhancement causing this issue so let's go to 
same path mdjmg so instead i am going to sc18 and i am going directly to that baddy usmd rule service in this we have to find out if there is any baddy standard baddy in the system which is having same filter so let's see we can see it is having some bp description bp description code and all let's go into this and identify so let's go to filter value yeah this is the this is what it is causing the issue so filter value should be unique for every bad implementation in that enhancement so this is causing the issue i am just going to this but i will not do here because this is sap standard what i will do is instead of deactivating here i will go to mdgmg and then in this path we can see process modeling and data quality so instead data quality business add-ins here here we can see this option activate and active implementation so if implementation is active this will get ticked automatically we cannot change it so this is just display only field but this is editable field what i am doing is the one which i have found it it is a conflict i am going to that one here we can see this one mdg bp bsbp description same thing i am just deactivating at mdg level and saving in a tr so i have deactivated this and i am closing it now if we click on check condition now if i click on check button only warnings are coming that warning let's remove that first so i am going to implementation class i am going into that and i will go into edit mode and individually i will create i will create this implementation so check entity i am going i am just activating this okay now individually we have to activate one by one methods if we don't activate any one of them it will cause runtime issues so i have activated all this now if we go back and click on check here we will not face any warnings also so i am just activating this and activating this baddy also now let's go into uh, check entity this first method here only we have to write the code related to validations so this method has been created now here first we have to check if io model is initial or not this is an importing parameter which is coming from outside from mdg framework so i am just adding if io model is not initial only then all this code has to get executed and if so if it is not in if it is not initial that means it something is there in this model every time almost every time it will be there as we know this is just for safety purpose now what i will do is this particular enhancement has to get triggered only for this cr type so what are we having only c request number we are having coming from outside the method i will do one method now cl usmd in c request util so in this method there will be one important one which uh, instead we can use usmd 120c as well but i am not using it i am just doing whatever it is provided by sap so get cr type 
by CR. By using this, we can get CR type runtime. So now here I am giving change request as ID underscore C request and receiving CR type. If receiving parameter is there, we can shorten the code to some extent. So that's why I will not receive here. Instead, what I will do is I will keep if condition here directly. If because receiving means we can directly add. This is like a return condition. So here I am just giving if this one is equal to z cost one p one. This is uh, some uh, uh, directly I am receiving it here and comparing it with this one. So if it is equal to this one only then it has to trigger. So I am just at the last I am adding another closing this if condition and if now in this case what has to happen we have to use IO model now in this there will be one important one read care value in read care value field name when we are trying to read CR data not uh, MDG entity data in CR data we have to use USMD underscore C request as field name because we are trying to read CR data CR attachment data but when we are trying to read attachments or notes data uh, we have to enable this one so because by default we can see it is not reading any other data slices so what I will add ABAP false here instead and I will uncomment this other things are not needed here we can directly import it into ET data here also there is one trick we should know in which format the data comes else we cannot uh, receive that data so I will do data LT data which I am declaring here so SAP has provided us MDG has created uh, this data type data element we can see USMD TS attachment so this is used to receive here data so when we are opening this TS attachment we can see in this table USMD created it and file type file size title of that file and all are there here so we can use that one now I am receiving that data into this LT data and now if the data is there then I am keeping the condition if the data is not initial if something is there in that so if if something is there that means an attachment is present in that particular sphere so I have to send a message only when attachment is not there that means I am adding is initial condition here and here and if so if is initial condition is there then I want to send a message that message also I want to form dynamically uh, because it is a lengthy process to give SC91 and giving a, creating a message class and adding messages there and calling here it is just a waste of time for demo instead I am just doing shortcut method there is a class provided by SAP CL ESMD message in this class there will be one static method which is very important convert text to at last it is there text to message 
when we are giving this we can see it is a receiving parameter so if if receiving parameters are there we can again shorten the code to some extent so in message text i am giving attachment is is attachment mandatory for this cr i'm just sending this message to the user but this will get formed here itself now i have to add that one into exporting parameter et message to do that i am just doing append here so then that message will be passed into exporting parameter that's it so inactive activate it now we can see new organization create customer test now we will place a breakpoint here to un to make it understand for you now whenever i am giving description and checking it you will get triggered now in next line anyway model is having some uh, instance in it so that's why it will come inside now get cr type by cr this is getting called at this particular line and it is trying to check if it is equal to z cust1 p1 or not so now because it is equal to z cust1 p1 it is going inside and now read char value we can see lt data is having empty it is not having anything now lt data is not having anything means it is initial of course now it will go inside and append that one into et message now we can see in et message here dynamically a message got added here send the five message id and message is attachment is mandatory for this cr now if we click on continue we can see in ui it is blocking to submit this one that's it now if we add attachment how it behaves let's see i am adding some sample attachment test file uh, file test i am giving as title and i will give here some some document file i will give a host or anything and i will click on okay now i got this now if we try try to click on check button now we can see changes now lt data will have one in this table one row let's check that row so a file type file size and file title we can see so file details and all we will get here so content we cannot this is some encrypted format x string so we don't need what what is there just we need is we got to know we have added attachment in the cr from this one now if if it is initial then only that error will come to the user if it is not initial it is it, it will not come so that's why it will come out of this loop and it will not show any errors no errors found so that's it guys for today like this we can add an attachment and check in the program whether we have added attachment or not and we can make changes accordingly so thank you guys